Greetings, it's Maxo Dizzily here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get yes no input using a J option pane in Java. So let's go into how to do it. So, firstly, import javax.swing.jOptionPane. And in our main method, we're going to do int result equals j option pane dot show confirm dialog null is the first parameter, so we want it to be centered in the middle of the screen. Then we do comma, then we do the question. So we're going to make it want to subscribe to Maxo Diddly. The next parameter is going to be the header of this little j option pane that's going to appear. And then j option pane dot yes no option is going to tell us, right, we want to have yes and no as our two button options. So that's all good. And also int result is going to store the result. So let's hit play and see what happens. That's great. We've got our little header. We got the question. We got the yes no. We've got the little x there. That's really good. But how do we do stuff with the input that we get? So what we can do is we can do an if statement. We can do if result equals j option pane dot yes option. So it doesn't store these as booleans. Instead, it stores it as an integer. So instead of checking for true or false, we're going to check j option pane dot yes option. And this is basically an enum. I won't go into what an enum is, but basically this side of code is checking if the user clicked on the yes button. If they did, we do jlchampaign.show message dialog null and thanks. But what if the user clicked no to the question of want to subscribe to Maxo Diddly? Now, this is a scenario that would never happen. However, we still have to factor this in. So what we can do is we can do an else if statement. So you can do else if result equals jlchampaign.no option. Now again, this is never going to happen but we need to factor this in in case someone wants to do a bit of trolling because that's clearly the only reason why someone wouldn't want to subscribe. And then we do jopsrepain.show message dialog null. And then we do this was a trick question. You have no choice in the matter. So you better subscribe for more high quality programming tutorials. But that's it for this tutorial. We're going to hit control S and we're going to hit play. So want to subscribe to Maxo Diddly? Yes. Thank you if you just hit the sub button, by the way. Let's try again. Now, this is only for testing purposes. Want to subscribe to Maxo Diddly? No. Joke's on you. This was a trick question. You have no matter in the choice. No, you have no choice in the matter. I can't even read properly. Please subscribe out of pity. I'm joking. But still subscribe. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.